Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create map highlight effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So as you can see, I have this Google Earth satellite image. I'm going to use this image to create the map highlight effect. So we'll start off by dragging in your fusion composition onto the timeline. And then let's go to the fusion page. Right inside the fusion page, make sure you click on the media pool and just drag in your screenshot like so. Close out of the media pool. And here, if we take a look at our image, you can see the resolution is this right over here. We want this resolution to be 1920 by 1080. So for that, we will need to add a background node. So just click on the media in one while it's selected. You can uh, click on this icon at the top left uh, that says background. Click on it and then you should see a background node uh, connected to a merge. So if we select this merge and view this, you can actually see it's still the same resolution. But now we can right click on it and click on swap inputs. Now the resolution will be 1920 by 1080. Same resolution as uh, our timeline over here. Now again on this merge, uh, after the media in one, we're going to add in a transform node. Uh, hit shift spacebar and then type in XF in the search over here to get the transform click on add and on this transform we will just increase the scale value uh, till we have this image in this composition like so right so the next thing is we're going to create our highlighted area for that we will need another background node drag that in and if we connect it up with this merge uh, it will result in merge 2 let's take a look at it and on the background too, we can change the color of our highlighted area. We can pick any color that you want. On this background too, we are going to add in a polygon mask. So click on this icon to add a polygon mask. And now you can just click to create points. So I'm just going to create a point like this. You can also zoom in and be precise with that. But for the sake of this story, I'm just going to do this real quick. Make sure you close the path by joining it to the very first point and if you want to modify the points at any time you can just click on any of these points and modify them however you want cool so we have this area over here now we can go to the merge tool and reduce the blend amount so that we can see this area a bit more clearly we don't want that to be fully opaque so just reduce the blend amount so that we can get this house in this uh, scene over here right so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to actually copy these two nodes the polygon and the background paste it down below and on the polygon one we are going to uncheck solid and we're going to increase the border width now we'll just connect this up with this merge 2 this result in merge 3 let's take a look at it and you can see we have this outline over here i can go to the background too and change the color to any color that you want i'm going to make it white and you can control the width over here so i'm going to set this to 0.00, .00 five and yeah we can also change the uh, line cap so i'm going to set this to flat and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to animate this line so go to the very first frame make sure the time indicator right over here says zero that means you are at the very first frame now we're going to create a keyframe on length set the length to zero and then we will move forward 30 frames and set the length to one so it will grow from 0 to 1 like that and then in the spline we can select the length over here click on this icon that says zoom to fit i'm going to select these two keyframes hit s to smooth that out hit the t key on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values i'm going to ease it into 100 now if you take a look at the animation you should see something like this right so the animation will be more smoother now the next thing we are going to do is we're going to create a dotted line so for that we are going to need another node called mask paint um, so just click on add and we're going to connect it up with this polygon like so so before we do anything else uh, let's go to this polygon over here you can also rename this node so let's just uh, call this outline in this outline node what we are going to do is uh, we have this right click here for shape animation so you can see it uh, resolve has already created a keyframe over there so i'm going to remove remove this keyframe so right click on it and click on remove polygon one polyline so that will remove that keyframe and now again we will right click on it and click on publish 
So now you will notice that at the top we have our modifiers tab enabled and we have this value which we can reference to in any other node. So we'll go to the mask paint over here and you can see that we don't have uh, uh, more options over here and that's because we need to switch to the uh, polyline stroke mode over here. So click on this icon to switch to polyline uh, stroke mode and now you can see under stroke controls we have some extra options and we have this right click here for shape animation so right click on it click on connect to outline polyline and click on value all right now we will go to our brush controls make sure the softness is set to zero and you can also reduce the size like that uh, but let's just increase the spacing and uh, let's just increase it quite a bit i'm going to set this to around two all right so we have these dotted lines uh, but if you want to have dashed lines, then you can go to your mask paint and from the brush controls, you can select the circular brush and that way you will get the dashed lines. You can play around with the spacing and everything right over here. All right, something like that. And of course, you can change the size as well. And if you go to the outline, you can control the width. Um, over here like so and um, let's uh, see what we have done so far so if we take a look at this merge 3 we have this uh, line animating uh, and now what we want to do is um, after the merge 3 we are going to add in a text plus click on add take a look at it in the text one i'm going to type in some text and i'm going to make this uh, small like so then in the shading we are going to enable the second shading element and let's make this appearance border fill set the level to text so that we have the uh, rectangle around our text and i'm going to set this to black for now so let's just uh, make it black and also we will go to layout and change the rotation so should be rotation z so something like that and again you can go to text and reduce the size the font size and again i'm going to go to uh, the second shading um, the third shading element enable that and this one will be for the drop shadow so let's just enable border fill appearance set the level to text and in the position we can change that and make sure that it is just under the text box like so um, and you can reduce the alpha opacity a little bit like that so we have some kind of drop shadow to it that is looking great now uh, for the animation i'm going to add a simple transform node click on add let's view this at the very first frame i'm going to create a keyframe on a size go forward to 30 frames and just increase the size a little bit like so and then you can also change the pivot position make sure that the picture or the highlighted area is more in the center i can go to the spline and select these two keyframes hit s and then ease it into 100 so we'll have a much smoother animation like that and now we can create a simple flicker effect on this highlighted area so i'm going to select this background over here actually i'm going to select this merge tool and i'm going to go to frame 30 where the line animation ends create a keyframe on blend set the blend to zero so it's going to start with uh, the value of zero go forward two frames and then increase the blend a little bit then go forward one frame and just randomize the blend values so keep on changing the blend values to get the uh, flicker effect so if we take a look at it we have this simple effect now you can also add a color corrector node if you want to do so so i'm going to just after the media in one add in a cc color corrector click on add and i'm just going to desaturate it so move the saturation slider all the way to the left so we have this uh, cool effect going on and of course in the polygon you can just change it to any color that you want so maybe something like that all right great so after the transform we can add in our time speed i really like the 
slow stop motion kind of effect so i'm going to add this time speed node and uh, click on nearest set the speed to 2 and then copy and paste this second time speed set the speed to 0.5 and uh, that should be it so if you connect this up with media out 